All right, so for this project, what you'll need is I'm going to use a needle. This has a really big, I don't know what this is called, a little loop right there. So you can put the ribbon or yarn through. I have a pair of scissors. I bought these command hooks. They're the ones that you can pull down and they will come off your wall uh, without you know taking paint or anything off. So I got two sets of these and I got these at Target for $3. So you'll need every color of the rainbow. And then I'm going to use the, um, the ribbon. Okay, so I have my tablecloth. And the way I opened it, I did not open it to, like you would an entire um, the tablecloth. So it's still folded into like half. So what I'm doing. All right, so what I've done is I folded about every you know, inch or so. I did like accordion style and I folded it onto itself and then I just threaded the needle through it. So I'm gonna set that over here. And do the same for this one. And this is the orange. It's not really picking up really good color. Okay, so now we have it the accordion style all folded up. I'm just gonna try to line it up to where I did it on this one. So we're gonna, it's about two inches down. Don't know. No, 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 no. So I'm just pushing that through. And I'm just making sure they're taut together. And I have, it's a really long string, so I'm keeping it long on both ends. Oh, gosh, no, stop. All right, so I'm going to start doing the rest of the colors, and then I'll show you once I get done. Okay, so I have all the colors bunched up right here. Um, it is now 10.37 at night, so I am not actually gonna hang this tonight because I have a fear of my cat attacking it and pulling it down. So I'm going to I'm probably just maybe wrap this around it carefully and put it somewhere where the cat can't get to it, and then we will set it up tomorrow. Okay, so we have the command hooks placed. Oh, I need to paint my nails. <laughs> So we have four of them. Um, you make sure you read the instructions because we read it after we read the, put this one on. But you're supposed to put them on and let them sit for an hour before you do anything with them. So I'm gonna go back and put all these on there and try to string up my backdrop. All right. So it actually, you could probably double up. I mean, it depends on the size of your room. So it didn't really fully stretch all the way over, which is fine. Um, cause I'm going to have something else right here. So anyway, so we have three hooks and it's one, two, three, four, three, six tablecloths. So if you doubled it up, depending on the size of your area, it could fill up the entire thing, but I think it looks really great. We're going to use it as like a photo backdrop. So if anybody wants to take pictures or whatever, but her high chair is going to be right here so that, um, she can do her cake and everything right there. So I think it turned out really nice. I just need to fix this purple one. I need to stretch it out a little bit. But um, I think it turned out really nice. I'm really happy with it. So there you go. There's an easy, quick photo backdrop and you could do this in any color that you would want. So and it's relatively cheap. It was only six bucks. I mean, plus the hooks, but the hooks you can reuse. Um, but I think it turned out great. So, and I'm gonna make some tissue paper clouds and hang them up there. So we'll have some more fun stuff with it. So that's it. So uh, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Oh, there you go. I'm not going to let him. I'm sure we're not going to let him.